Joining us now to talk about this, Dr. Robert Murphy. He's a professor of infectious diseases at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Doctor, thanks for good being morning. with us. Hey, good morning. So let's talk about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Uh, you think it's safe to use and we'll see it this week? Well, you know, we're going to get the full report sometime this week. That was promised uh, when the advisory committee said, hey, we need another 10 days to take a look at this. Most likely, it's going to be uh, approved uh, to come back on the market, but there may be some restrictions. There's definitely going to be some warnings, but, you know, they may say maybe, yeah, you know, it's one in a million total of all the people that uh, uh, got the, the, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. But if you look at women under 50, it's like one in 200,000. Florida has been uh, operating uh, in a pretty open way in recent weeks. How is Florida looking today? Florida is full of variants. Florida is a hotbed. Florida is a mess. Uh, it just, it, it, you know, this is where the variants are going to come from in this country. I mean, it's the hotbed. It's, uh, it's the hot spot uh, for these variants down there. They're reporting more than anybody else. The mortality rate is higher with those with the variants. Uh, you know, it's it's a mess. Let's talk about some of these other vaccines. We know a lot of uh, different countries were working on their own version of a COVID-19 vaccine. Talk about the Chinese version and any others that have developed. Yeah, well, you know, the Chinese came out and the Russians came out and said, oh, you know, it's 80%, 85% effective, you know, but they, they're very opaque. You don't actually see the actual numbers, you, you don't know. Uh, and wherever these vaccines have been rolled out, the results are not as good as what they had uh, projected. Now, the virus is also changing around the world. So, you know, maybe it worked uh, back then when they, got, when they uh, developed the vaccine. Mm. But in Chile, uh, where they have vaccinated more people than even in the United States on a, on a per person basis, uh, they're saying that the effect is not very good. Ah. Uh, and you have a, uh, a study at Northwestern that you want to tell us about. Uh, study yes, we are do, we are testing people. Uh, we're offering testing for anybody really at high risk uh, for having COVID. In other words, if somebody in your family or somebody in your close circle at work or home uh, has recently tested positive for COVID in the last seven days, uh, we will do all your tests for you uh, at no charge uh, whatsoever, including a home test and a PCR test. All right, very good. Let's take a look at some viewer questions. Here is the first one. Do you think we'll get two shots yearly, flu and COVID, or will they combine into one? Well, ideally, it would be nice to combine them. Right now, I don't think that the technologies uh, doesn't exist to combine them. So I would plan at least at the beginning that you're going to need uh, both of them. It'll be two shots. All right, next question. I received the Pfizer vaccine. I'm two weeks post second shot. It's 95% effective, which is much better than most year's flu shots. I'm not a danger to others and I am protected. Why do I still have to wear a mask? Well, you have to still wear a mask because there's just so too much COVID out there. Look at this, uh, 2,666 uh, uh, new cases in the state with 10 deaths. Uh, you know, there's just too much going on in the community right now. That'll change. Uh, now, what you do in your house and in a small group, if you're with other vaccinated people, then you don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to socially distance. You can you can be together with other vaccinated people. All right, here is the next question. My wedding is on June 4th. Our wedding venue is du in DuPage County. I believe that Illinois will be in the bridge phase and we can invite up to 250 people. Do you believe we will be in phase five by then? I really don't think so. I think you better plan that we're not going to be there because it's just, it's too hard to predict, really. It, it would be unfair uh, to you, uh, the viewer, you know, to say, yeah, we'll be in phase five by then and everything will be great. Uh, you better plan that we're not going to be there. And if we're there, then it's great. But, uh, you know, don't plan on it. All right. If you have any questions for the doctor, you can post them on our Morning News Facebook page. We'll talk to him again tomorrow at this time. Thanks, doctor. Thanks, doctor. Hey, thank you.